All right, Miss. Always, always a good start. <laughs> you know, uh, I've done this show so much that I go, yeah, I know exactly where it is. Shut up. Boom. <laughs> Let me just say that this country is so ob obsessed with health that it makes me sick. Okay? We bombard ourselves with information about health all the time. Every newspaper has five pages about health. Every week, there are questions like, is your prostate happy? <laughs> Bran muffins, is two enough? Is one too many? Uh, then that final one, oh, what are your feet telling you about yourself? They're not telling me anything. They're my feet. <laughs> It's unbelievable what we we, 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 we... we don't even know anything about health anymore. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, we, we worry about health as a result, don't we? Everybody thinks about it too much, and when you worry about health, you're not going to be healthy, are you? We worry about health so much that we are the fattest group of people in the world. <laughs> Nobody's fatter than us. Nobody. And if there was an Olympics of fat, we'd win the gold, the silver, and the bronze. <laughs> Because nobody could fit in the stadium with us. <laughs> now, we know so much about health that we know nothing, okay? We know nothing. Case in point, is milk good or bad? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. And when I was a kid, you knew. Because there was only one kind of milk, moo cow milk. <laughs> and the cow actually went moo. And you know what? When you, I was a kid, you had to drink four glasses of milk a day. Four! Who could do that? Okay? <laughs> there are not enough cookies in the universe. <laughs> but now, now we don't know if milk's good or bad, because there's, there's more milk than we ever imagined. You walk down that aisle of the milk, it goes on for weeks. One percent, two percent, low fat, skim, acidophilus milk. Acidophilus milk? <laughs> Are you insane? That belongs in the yogurt section. <laughs> milk doesn't need acidophilus. Milk doesn't need a friend. <laughs> Lactose intolerant milk. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> Lactose intolerant milk. If you're lactose intolerant, you can't drink milk. <laughs> so what's in the carton? What's in the carton? <laughs> Get it out of there. Get it away from my milk. Get it away. It's talking to my milk and making my milk feel bad about itself. <laughs> Soy milk. I was in Los Angeles, and they asked me if I wanted with my coffee half and half regular skim or soy. And my fist stopped an inch from his nose. <laughs> I said, you don't ask anybody if they want soy milk. Soy milk in English means tastes like crap. <laughs> There's no such thing as soy milk. It's soy juice, isn't it? <laughs> That's they squeeze the beans and get the juice. But nobody would drink soy juice, because when you say it, you actually gag. <laughs> but there it is. There it is, right in the milk section. <laughs> right next to my milk. And we know there's no soy milk. We're not stupid, because there's no soy titty, is there? <laughs> we know so much about health that in my lifetime, we destroyed water. That's almost impossible. You know, there was a time, and a lot of you are too young to remember, when water actually came to your home, and you could drink it. But then we decided we'd save money, and we wouldn't have our water cleaned so well so we could buy the water at the supermarket. We said it's too convenient. I don't want the water coming to my home. I want to search for it, much like my ancestors did. <laughs> So you buy bottles of spring water and purified water, and you think there's spring water or purified water? You're crazy. You know where it comes from? There there's a couple in Pittsburgh that sits in the bathtub and fills those bottles up. <laughs> Thank you. It's been a pleasure.